estate from Upgrade Your Home DIY. And if you're doing a renovation or you're finishing a basement, for example, and you have an area that doesn't have power to it yet, like this dark room behind me, how can you get lighting in there in a way that you can set it up easily and have a switch so it's easy to turn on from where you're walking into the room or the area? So what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's start by first getting an extension cord over to this area from a plug that we know is working. Now you might already have that extension cord run because you're using other power tools, but I'm going to run an extension cord to this doorway so we can then hook up the lighting from there. So I'll go ahead and take the extension cord, plug that in on this end, and then we're going to go down to the other end of the extension cord. Now on the other end of the extension cord, we're going to use this. This is a switched plug, so this is going to plug into the end of the extension cord. This is where we're going to plug the next cord into, but you notice it has an on-off switch. This is what we're going to be able to use to turn the lights on prior to entering the dark area or right inside the dark area, depending on where you can put your cord. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And you notice it lights up when it's on, so I'll turn it off for safety. And that's how we're going to be able to have a switch for our lights in this dark room. Now the next step is to run an extension cord from this plug to an area in that room where we can hang a light bulb. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're looking for is we're looking for some sort of a strap that we can hang this from. Oh, like that metal strap there. You don't want to hang it off of a pipe, an exhaust pipe, a drain pipe, a water pipe. It has to be some sort of strapping. Now sometimes what you're going to do is you're going to have to sort of put a screw in and put a little loop on, something like that, that we can hang this extension cord from. So now that we've identified that, let me go grab the extension cord and I can put it through that metal uh, loop that is supporting that vent pipe. So now I'm up on the ladder. I have my extension cord and I'm going to get it through this metal strapping here. Again, I'm hanging it on the metal strapping, not on the actual piping. So make sure it's on metal strapping or something you put in, whether that's a little loop of wire on a nail or a screw, something that is not a water pipe, a vent pipe, or a drain pipe. So I have my end of the extension cord. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use this device. This is a plug adapter for a bulb. So we've got the two prongs here, and we've got the bulb here. So I can just plug this into my extension cord correct way and now I can plug a, I can screw a bulb into here and have and get light eventually or what I can do is I can use I can use this adapter so this adapter is one that takes screws in and it gives me two bulbs so it gives me even more light so I'm going to go ahead just to show you screw that in and again I'm going to have links to all of these products in the description below and then you put in LED bulbs. LED bulbs because they run cooler and they don't draw as much power as an incandescent bulb. So now I have my extension cord. I have my adapter that turns that into a light bulb socket. And I've actually extended it to two. Now we can go back and connect this extension cord to the switch to have a light switch for ourselves. So I have my extension cord and I'm going to plug it into my switch here. And now I have an on off switch, which is a light switch. So when I flip it on, now I have light in the room that I need to work in. So that's how you can give yourself a temporary work light in an area that you don't have any power hooked up to yet. Now, if the light doesn't come on, make sure the bulbs and the adapters are properly screwed in. Uh, that's what I had in, in this issue uh, earlier on an earlier take. The bulb wasn't properly screwed in. But you can see now how you can have this sort of excellent lighting in the area you need it to be. So by using a couple of extension cords, the uh, plug switch, and the adapter that allows you to screw a light bulb into that adapter that goes into the end of the extension cord, and then, of course, that splitter so you can actually have two bulbs come in. You can set up temporary working lights 
in any area that you're working in, even if it has no power to that area yet, by simply running an extension cord to where you do have power. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so others who are doing renovations, finishing their basement can find this video. Subscribe to the channel so you get updated when I publish new videos. If you found the information in this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll find helpful as well. Thanks for watching.